Right, let's go to Dunedin, Florida, where it's nice and sunny and warm, and the Blue Jays are there for spring training already. Blue Jays manager John Schneider saved a woman at a restaurant uh, who was choking and struggling to breathe. Uh, she had a piece of shrimp stuck in her throat. Uh, this is a restaurant in Dunedin. Other people are panicking, kind of freaking out. You know what happens in those kinds of things, fight or flight, right? Like some people, yeah. you know, really know how to jump into action. He did, giving her the Heimlich maneuver and successfully performing that. This is what he had to say about that situation. I learned it in like sixth grade and had not done since. So it was just kind of like, I think I remember how to do this. And um, I'm a bigger guy, so I think that kind of helped a little bit. Um, but yeah, I hadn't thought about the Heimlich maneuver since, I, you know, sixth grade. You have your lunch comped? I had a beer comped, but I was, it was, it was, it was late enough in the day. Um, no, but the, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's 1201. No. Um, no, the manager came over and said, and said, thank you very much. I think I was, I was kind of like a little bit rattled afterwards. Um, so the beer did come in handy. Wow. Okay. Wow. So the beer, the time of the beer was his most concerning fact yeah. for him. Yeah. He's like, I don't yeah. know what you think I had that at 11.15. Yeah. It was 12.01. Mm -hmm. um, the woman said thank you and continued to eat. She's like, give me another shrimp. And kept going. It's so Florida. Uh, and so he got a free. It's yeah. so, it's so Florida. Florida. It's so Florida. It's, so Florida. it's, it's not yeah. shocking. Yeah. yeah. And she just said thank you and that was it. So someone gave him a free beer after all that. Um, come, like, in that situation, you know, are you, are you a John Schneider? Or are you the everybody else? So I shared in the morning call this morning about <laughs> mm -hmm. my experience. Three, I think it was two or three summers ago. I was uh, at a friend's cottage making some steak, cutting up a flank steak. And then as I was walking to the table, took a piece, and all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. It, it got caught. And I looked to my friend's That's wife, so Erin, and yeah. I was like, I can't breathe. And then her husband, Ralph, Ralph Nella, came around. And at first, he was gentle with the, the Heimlich. But then as I started to lose, I was actually going to pass out at that time. He became very aggressive, and it, it came out. It was right in front of my kids, in front mm. of his kids. I really encourage everybody right now, just based on the story, to go on to YouTube this morning uh, and just try to watch that again because it's you got to lift up on it, mm -hmm. and you don't need to be gentle. My ribs hurt after, yeah. but I could still breathe and live. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm really grateful and thankful to uh, to Ralph as well. Well, those are the first wow. aid courses, right? They say you should refresh those every every year. Oh my mm -hmm. God. But if if you haven't done that every year. Just do it. Get a refresher of that. It's so right. important, especially and if you don't feel confident. Just go in there and still try. Like yeah. you can see that he did, it didn't yeah. since the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. It's actually. But also, you should even look at if you're by yourself because mm -hmm. you you live I on live your alone. own. Yeah. Right. So let's say that happens on your own. There's a way that you can go on a chair to actually dislodge mm. as well. You can see some of those videos okay. as well. Yeah. 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 I feel like if you have kids too, like that's my know, fear. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And when they're little, you're mm -hmm. constantly worried about honestly grapes, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's always in my mind. I I know. Yeah, you've taken probably CPR. You know what to do yeah. if that happens. But oh yeah, like sending them to school with snacks. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly. It's on my the top of my mind yeah. all the yeah. time. All the time. Like, I everything. I still cut grapes in a certain way. Yeah. Like I know eventually, like Isla will never know how to eat like a whole grape because I, I cut them up in a certain yeah, way yeah. because I, I have that fear. I share that fear yeah. every time and I'm just watching her making sure she's too quiet when she's eating. I yeah. I look over just to make sure she's okay. And it could just be a grape. It like, could that's be, the whole I know, thing. Right? It's so simple, it's right? It's so simple. Yeah, simple chew your food. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Even, and even with, you know, we're talking about CPR and those first aid training and kind of refreshing that. Very different for kids mm -hmm. than for adults, right? Yeah. So it's definitely worth uh, looking into and doing that again. Thank you, and we're glad you're okay, Love man. Yeah. Thank God, that's oh, such a thanks scary story. story. It is scary. That's it thanks, was Ralph. scary. And until you, you told that story, I didn't think about it by someone who lives at home alone. I didn't think yeah. about yeah. that. Like oh, that's not something that's on my mind. That I was in the kitchen happen, alone, so that's you know? what I thought. If yeah. I didn't have the if I passed out before, what would have happened? So I was like, okay, what do I do? So uh. yeah, just there's ways that you can mm -hmm. do it even when you're on your own. And I like to eat a lot, so let's <laughs> just. It's a Fat Tuesday today, and I just call that regular Tuesday. It's yeah. all.